we will talk about celiac disease, including its primary symptoms, what people typically complain about when they have celiac disease, how to diagnose it, and how to treat it effectively. We will also discuss what can happen if it is left untreated. Celiac disease is an autoimmune disease, which means our body mistakenly attacks its own tissues, in this case, the intestines. This occurs because of a protein called gluten, which is present in many foods. When gluten is broken down in the body, it is mistakenly perceived as a threat, triggering an immune system response. This causes significant inflammation and damage to the intestines. If left untreated for years, it can lead to serious health consequences, including osteoporosis, infertility in both men and women, and an increased risk of small bowel cancer. Diarrhea is the most common symptom of celiac disease, often presenting as persistent, watery diarrhea accompanied by abdominal pain. The second most common symptom is fatigue, a feeling of tiredness despite adequate sleep. For some people, diarrhea and constipation may alternate. These symptoms are often worsened or triggered by foods that contain gluten, such as bread, pasta, pizza, beer, and many other foods containing gluten. When gluten-containing foods are eliminated from the diet, symptoms often improve significantly within several weeks. Celiac disease is usually diagnosed after the age of 30, but it can occur at any age. However, in many cases, symptoms are nonspecific and vague, leading to a delayed diagnosis. Many people experience symptoms for years before being diagnosed. These symptoms include diarrhea, sometimes constipation, bloating, anemia due to malabsorption, and deficiencies in vitamins and minerals caused by the damage to the intestinal lining. Anemia is a very common complaint among people with celiac disease, primarily due to impaired iron absorption. Deficiencies in calcium and vitamin D are also common, leading to bone pain, muscle weakness, and an increased risk of fractures. These conditions are known as osteoporosis and osteopenia, both of which weaken bone strength. Folate deficiency, vitamin B9, can cause fatigue, irritability, and inflammation of the tongue. Vitamin B12 deficiency can lead to neuropathy, tingling and numbness, cognitive problems, and balance issues. Other symptoms include weight loss, bloating, gas, and dermatitis herpetiformis, a hallmark of celiac disease if present. This itchy, blistering skin rash commonly appears on the elbows, buttocks, and knees. In children, classical manifestations of celiac disease often include chronic diarrhea, failure to thrive, poor growth or weight gain, abdominal distension, and irritability. The main risk factors for gluten intolerance are genetic predispositions, particularly the presence of HLARDQ2 or HLARDQ8 genes. Having a first-degree relative, parent, sibling, child with celiac disease significantly increases the risk. Additionally, people with other autoimmune diseases, like type 1 diabetes or thyroid disease, are at an increased risk of developing celiac disease. The timing of gluten introduction is also important, introducing gluten too early or too late can increase the risk. The optimal age for introducing gluten to infants is around 4-6 to six months, during the period when complementary foods are being introduced. It's recommended to introduce gluten gradually while the child is still being breastfed, as breastfeeding during this introduction may reduce the risk of celiac disease. For people with a family history of celiac disease, adopting a gluten-free diet may help prevent the onset of symptoms. Although celiac disease is commonly diagnosed in adulthood, it often starts in childhood with milder symptoms. If left untreated, celiac disease can cause osteoporosis, malnutrition, neurological deficiencies, and infertility due to severe vitamin deficiencies in both males and females. After 10 to 30 years of untreated celiac disease, there is an increased risk of small bowel cancer or intestinal lymphoma. In many cases, diagnosis can be made based on symptoms and the response to a gluten-free diet. The most commonly used blood test is the transglutaminase antibody test, 
TTGIGA. Another highly specific test is the endomysial antibodies, EMIGA, test, which is often used to confirm positive TTGIGA results. Genetic testing can be used to rule out celiac disease, for example, the absence of HLA-DQ2 and HLA-DQ8 genes make celiac disease highly unlikely. An endoscopy with biopsy is the gold standard for diagnosis, where multiple biopsy samples are taken from the duodenum, a part of the small intestine, and examined under a microscope for villus atrophy, crypt hyperplasia, and increased intraepithelial lymphocytes. The primary and most effective treatment for celiac disease is a strict, lifelong gluten-free diet. This means completely avoiding all foods and products that contain gluten, which is found in wheat, barley, rye, and any derivatives of these grains. A gluten-free diet allows the small intestine to heal, prevents further damage, and alleviates symptoms. Over time, a gluten-free diet can also reduce the risk of long-term complications like osteoporosis and certain cancers. Vitamins and mineral supplements may be needed in cases of deficiency. Usually, a gluten-free diet is sufficient, but if not, medications like corticosteroids or immunosuppressants can be effective in managing refractory celiac disease. However, these are not used as first-line treatments due to potential side effects. Periodic testing for celiac antibodies, like anti-TTG, can help assess whether gluten exposure is still occurring. A gluten-free diet is usually very effective and improves the condition in most people. The most common foods you should avoid due to their gluten content include all types of bread made from wheat, barley, or rye, regular pasta, spaghetti, noodles, most cereals, baked goods and cakes, pizza, crackers, beer, pancakes, waffles, soy sauce, because of its wheat content, and even bulgur. Now, let's discuss foods that naturally don't contain gluten, rice, any type, quinoa, potatoes, corn, and oats. Though they may be labeled gluten-free due to cross-contamination risks, they naturally don't contain gluten, and buckwheat, despite its name, it's gluten-free. Amaranth, beans, legumes, nuts, and seeds like chia and flax seeds are also gluten-free. All fresh vegetables and fruits are naturally gluten-free as well. Any meat is originally gluten-free and can be consumed unless it is processed or mixed with wheat products. Also, any fish is allowed because they do not contain gluten.